We are celebrating the islands of the Caribbean this month. This week the, is Caribbean Week, and the month of June is Caribbean American Heritage Month. That's right. So many different islands make up this special region, right? Including Anguilla, which is one of easternmost islands. So here to give us a taste of Anguilla is Allison Ross. So good morning to you. How are we doing? <laughs> We're doing really is well. The, is there a special right. greeting or saying that you usually say? Not really. We just, but we're really known for our hospitality. Yes. I mean, this is one of the things that keeps our visitors coming back to Anguilla year after year. We have like a 70% repeat rate. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, for the island. So really, it's the people who are so warm and welcoming that are really special about Anguilla. Plus it's gorgeous. It ah. is stunning. <laughs> yes, <right>. It is <laughs> stunning. <laughs> You know, amazing beaches, you know, a fantastic culinary scene. There's no such thing as a bad meal in mm. Anguilla. Oh, <laughs> of course. So how easy is it to get to Anguilla from here in New York? Um, there are lots of ways. Um, um, a lot of New Yorkers fly into St. Martin, our neighbor. Um, and from there, it's a 25-minute ferry ride or oh. a seven-minute flight. Fun fact, the shortest international flight in the world. Really? <laughs> yeah. Or there's also non-stop service from Miami directly into Anguilla, onto the island. How Anguilla. long is that flight? That flight is about two and a half hours. Okay. That is but not you bad at all. Yeah. I've been right? to St. Martin, but i got to make my way to Anguilla oh, now. You must. It's a 25-minute ferry ride from there. Okay. Uh, what are some of the attractions, I guess, and activities that keep people coming back I besides, mean, like, just the normal beach scene? Well, you know, we're known for our spectacular beaches, you know, great um, pristine waters. Yes. You know, we have, So we have a great so dive, gorgeous. dive culture and dive scene there. Yeah. But, you know, we also have golf. Uh, we have championship golf right. uh, oh, courses. Wow. We have, um, you know, ATVs, you know, moke rentals. Oh, <laughs> um, there are some offshore keys that some have restaurants. So it's a wonderful day trip, you know, to go off to one of the offshore keys for, you know, for a day, yeah. kayaking, you know, all manner of water sports. Um, but, you know, on the cultural side, there's also, you know, a, a museum that teaches you about Anguillian history. And, you know, we have uh, tennis, fantastic tennis courts as well. So there's really a ton of stuff to do away from the beaches, you yeah. know, although the beaches are probably our main attraction, yeah. our star attraction. Right. <laughs> and speaking of beaches, you have two models joining you this morning. Can you can you yes. tell us a little bit about them this morning? Well, we we're, we worked with a, a Caribbean designer who's actually based here. His name is Dimarche, uh, but he specializes in tropical designs. Um, he draws his inspiration from, you know, the Caribbean and islands like Anguilla. So, um, you know, that that's thing. why we brought them along to like share in the whole yeah. maritime theme that, that we're promoting this morning. Okay. And what's this guy's workout routine? <laughs> <laughs> Who's his, who's his trainer? Yeah, no, that's so cute. I love both of those. Yeah, yeah, very you know, good. I know we didn't have a chance to talk about it, but for those of, that aren't familiar with the with the food, you mentioned restaurants, and I'm salivating just thinking about oh, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are, could, how would you describe the food? Oh, it's amazing. You know, Anguillians have what we in the Caribbean call a sweet hand, mm. which means that, you know, whatever we prepare is absolutely amazing and wonderful. Yeah. Um, we don't have any all-inclusives, which has led to a really vibrant restaurant scene. So everything from local fare, you know, peas and rice, mm -hmm. and, you know, our speciality is Anguillian crayfish, okay. which is sweeter than, than lobsters. Um, wow. And also, you know, we have, so we have international cuisine as well as we have a lot of local um, products. And again, we have both international five-star restaurants as Wonderful. well as, you know, local eateries, um, whether it's, uh, you know, at a private home or at right. one of the places along the strip. But I just wanted to mention one other thing is that what's unique to Anguilla is our boat racing culture. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the boats are locally made on the island. They're wonderful sailboats and each community, you know, adopts a boat and gets behind the boat, so there's a lot of rivalry. Okay. It ends in the Champion of Champions boat race in August, which is part of our summer festival, which I is our it. carnival. But it's really spectacular when you see all the boats with their huge, tall masts and sails, right. you know, going through and Wonderful. around the island. Well, thank you for sharing all of that with us this morning. We appreciate all your time, and happy Caribbean American <laughs> Month. Thank yeah. you. And yeah, thank you for having us this morning. We'll be down there, right? You might see us down there. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> we certainly welcome you. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. <laughs>